Moving on to exercise 14b, number 2, again we are to name the different pairs of angles when two straight lines are being intersected by a transversal. So this line is known as the transversal. You can see this is the transversal. Now here the lines are parallel. Therefore, you can easily say that these two are interior alternate, these two angles are exterior alternate, these two angles are, this angle and this angle are co-interior or allied angles, isn't it? Allied angles, while these two, one and this, this angle, they are corresponding angles, these are this and this are corresponding angles but the problem lies when the transversal it doesn't cut a straight line looking like parallel means my line will be somewhat like this somewhat like this okay have a look here somewhat like this okay here you will have lots and lots of confusion okay however we have the stick over here and our problem will be solved if we directly go to question number 2 where the same type of sum has been given where 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 the where lines are being cut by the transversal okay where lines are being cut by the transversal okay now here let us see here let us see why about 1 and 4 so here in 1 and 4, what do we see? We find that these two lines are, these two angles are made when two lines intersect each other. Therefore, they are vertically opposite angles. Vertically opposite angles. Always remember that if these two angles are being asked, you need not to go around other angles. You need to focus on the bird's eye only. Okay, that is 1 and 4. So that you get a clear picture of what you are being asked. Okay, let's move on to the other one or the next one. Have a look. The same question over here which has been made simple why? Because I have removed all the other given datas. Let us look at 4 and 7. Now, let us look at these two lines. These two lines, these two lines are being cut by a transversal. Have a look here. Now, actually, while in, the, in question number 1, our line was somewhat like this. Our line was somewhat like this two parallel two lines looking like parallel and this was the transversal now our line became like this so in that case again these two are known as 4 and 7 are known as alternate angles alternate angles okay not only alternate we'll mention it as interior alternate angles which looks somewhat like Z, somewhat like Z. Interior alternate angles look somewhat like Z. Let's move on to the other one. That is our number, whatever be the number. Here you are being asked about 10 and 12. So 10 and 12 are the angles formed when two lines intersect at a point. So when two lines intersect at a point, what are these? They are vertically opposite angles. I have forgotten all the other lines except these two. So they are known as vertically opposite angles. Vertically opposite angles. Okay. Now let's move on to the next one. Again you are being asked. 13 and 7. Now 13 and 7, what I find that 13 is, are, these two angles are being made by lines 
two lines being intersected by a transversal so let us see over here let us see let the line be like this okay let this line be somewhat like this therefore this 13 and 7 they are corresponding angles they are chorus come on my dear be still over here okay chorus see again this fellow corresponding angles okay what they have done in order to confuse you they have tilted the line somewhat like this have a look this was 13 and 7 whole 7 over here they are corresponding angles what they have done they have tilted the line somewhat like this okay so again they are corresponding angles only so you needn't to get confused okay let's come on to the next one that is 6 and 8 which is very very simple why because these two angles are being made by two straight lines intersecting at a point therefore the angles made made on the opposite of each other is uh, are known as are known as vertically opposite angles verti vertically opposite angles so no confusion is here this was very simple okay let us move on to the next one 11 and 8 once again they have confused us this is a straight line okay this is this is also a straight line now let me tilt the straight line somewhat like this okay now this is the transversal okay so this 11 and 8 what are they 11 and 8 are allied or co-interior angles allied a double l i e d allied or co-interior angles co interior angles co-interior angles now what they have done they have tilted the line somewhat like this okay tilted the line somewhat like this so naturally this 11 and 8 remains the same 11 and 8 remains the same have a look once again this 11 and 8 they are aligned or co-interior angles on tilting the line somewhat like this 11 and 8 remains the same therefore they are also allied or co-interior angles okay let's focus on to the next one 7 and 9 so again they are very very easy because these are the two straight lines these are the angles made by intersecting two straight lines and hence they are known as vertically vertically opposite angles okay they are known as vertically opposite angles isn't it vertically opposite angles okay let's move on to the next one and the next one says about us about 5 and 4 so 5 and 4 5 and 4 5 and 4 have a look at 5 and 4 5 and 4 okay 5 and 4 so 5 and 4 my dear is a are the two angles made on the opposite side of a common arm this is your common arm therefore they are known as adjacent angles they are known as adjacent angles okay now let's move on to the next one okay let's move on to the next one have a look here have a look oh my god again they have asked you 4 and 6 so 4 and 6 what I find that here the transversal the transversal is the transversal is this line this line which cuts these two okay this transversal actually intersects these two line therefore the angles which are formed on one side of the transversal only are known as allied allied or allied or co-interior angles co-interior angles therefore you needn't to get confused okay just keep on playing with these 
magic sticks once again let me see okay this is one of my line and this is the another line so what I find that this line becomes the common arm this line becomes the common arm so the angles which are made on the opposite side of the common arm opposite side of the common arm they are known as adjacent 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 angles okay so no confusion once again okay adjacent angles let me see about these two 2 and 13 so for 2 and 13 what I find that have a look this is one line this is the another line and then this is the transversal and these two angles are formed on one side between these two between these two lines these two these two lines therefore they are known as allied allied or allied or co-interior angles co-interior interior angles I hope it is loud and clear and now you people will not forget it by any means okay lastly as you know since you you also take lots and lots of patience to watch and learn therefore for my from my side I would say thanks a lot okay keep studying bye